Hello, this is Jamie with Creations Misfit, and today I thought I would try something different. I had this idea to do a mystery pattern because I'm always writing things down in notebooks, like my stitch counts and stuff like that, or pattern ideas, and then I don't label it, and I have no idea when I go back through what pattern it's for, so I have to just start making it blindly. So I thought that could be a good concept for us on my channel to every so often do a mystery pattern, where I just tell you what kind of yarn you need, about how much, and what size crochet hook, and then we crochet together, and we make a project that you're unaware of. So um, we'll see if this gets any traction. If anybody's interested in it, um, please leave a comment below and let me know if you like this idea. Today I thought I would just do a really quick, uh, maybe five minute project to see what people think. Um, so if you're here and you've never been here before, please like the video, subscribe, take a look at my channel. I do have a lot of pattern tutorials up, stitch videos up. Uh, this is my first mystery pattern, but if it goes well, I'll do some more and maybe we can do even bigger projects in the future. Um, so for today, you're just going to need some size four yard, maybe like 25 yards. I don't know, not much at all. Um, you could use any size four that you want. I'm going to use this anti-pill mainstays yard from Walmart. And then you will need a size five millimeter hook and some scissors and a yarn needle to sew in your ends. So I hope that you actually do this with me and you don't um, jump ahead to see what the project is. It's really something small, so um, it won't take a lot of time or yarn. All right, so to get started, we are going to do a slip knot. Normally I would start this with a magic circle, but I know that's not for everybody. So since this is gonna be an easy pattern, uh, we'll do it like this. So start with four chains. And then we're going to slip stitch into that very first chain to make a ring, like a magic ring. Okay, so there's your, you can see there's like a little circle here. And we're going to be working inside that circle. Hopefully you can see that because I know it's pretty small, but um, try to get this here. There's like a little <laughs> circle in the middle. Okay, so inside that circle, we are going to do 10 single crochet. So make sure you go into the middle. We're going to do one, two, three, four. And you can kind of work over this um, piece of the back if you'd like. Five, six, seven, eight, get more yarn, nine, and ten. Okay, and then you can pull on this to kind of close up your circle a little bit. It's okay if it's not completely closed, it's fine for this project. So, from here, we're going to slip stitch to the very first. Um, single crochet that we made and you may want to count your stitches around to find that first one because it looks like there's another one there because we started with uh, chains so here's one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten and slip stitch to the very first and that's the end of round one all right, so for round two, we're going to do a puff stitch. If you're unfamiliar with that, you're going to want to make your tension loose um, so that we can pull through more than one stitch. So we're going to go into this very first stitch where we did our slip stitch, and we're going to start our puff stitch. So you're going to go into that stitch, yarn over, and pull up a loop. All right, so you have two loops on your hook, and make sure that there's some room in there. Now we're going to yarn over and go back into that stitch, yarn over and pull up another loop, yarn over and go back into the stitch, yarn over and pull up a loop, and then we're going to do that one more time. Yarn over, go into the stitch, yarn over and pull up a loop. You should have nine loops on your hook if you'd like to count them. And then you're going to yarn over and pull through all nine loops. And now if you don't do it tight enough, it's kind of hard, or loose enough, it's kind of hard to pull through. But it should be really easy to pull through if 
oh sorry about that if you've done um if you've done your stitches uh loosely and then we're going to chain one on top of that to close it off okay and that's a puff stitch so we're going to do one in every stitch around so that we have 10 so i'll do another one with you and then i'll leave you to do the rest by yourself so we're going to yarn over and go into this very first stitch yarn over and pull up a loop yarn over go into the same stitch yarn over and pull up a loop make sure that you've got your tension real loose yarn over go into that same stitch yarn over and pull up a loop and then one more time yarn over go into the stitch yarn over and pull up a loop you should have nine loops on your hook and then yarn over and pull through all nine and then close it with a chain all right, so go ahead and do a uh, puff stitch in every stitch around. And at the end of um, this round, I will meet you back. And then we only have one more round after this. Okay, at the end of round two, you're going to do your chain like normal to close off your puff stitch. And then we're going to um, slip stitch into the very first puff stitch, not that chain. Okay, so slip stitch into the puff stitch. And here's our project so far and this is the last round so for this last round we are just going to um, do we're going to do a half double crochet in this very first stitch like right on top of the puff stitch where we just did our slip stitch and we're going to just go we're not going to chain or anything we're just going to go right in there and do a half double crochet and then we're going to do three more half double crochets on top of that puff stitch, the same one. So we're going to do a total of four. So there's two, three, and four. And then we're going to, there's a little space in between the puff stitches. We're going to do a slip stitch there. So slip stitch. And then on top of the next puff stitch, we're going to do our four half double crochet again. So there's one, two, three, and four. And then in between, we're going to do a slip stitch. And that's your pattern all the way around. I'm sure you can see what's going on here. <laughs> so go ahead and finish up and um, I'll see you at the end to finish off. All right, I've come around to the end. I'm just gonna do my last slip stitch here. And then tie off my yarn. Leave a little tail to sew in. And there's our first mystery uh, pattern. So I could have messed up right here in that little, that's why I don't really like doing uh, the chain fours, but I can fix that when I'm sewing in my end. So anyway, here's your little flower. And maybe you can put this on a hat or a blanket or something like that. But I hope that you enjoyed doing this. And like I said, we could do larger projects or it will always be something that will be useful um, in some way or another. So let me know what you think and how this worked out for you and suggestions if you think we should keep doing this. But in the meantime, if you do make this... Um, or anything else of mine on my channel, please feel free to tag me in it. Well, I guess don't say that this is a mystery project because I don't want anybody else to know what it is unless they actually do it. But um, you can tag me in any of your projects. I am at Creations Misfit on Instagram and TikTok. And you can always send me a private message on Instagram if you'd like to show me the mystery project. But um, please feel free to take a look at my channel and uh, see if there's anything else that piques your interest. And I hope you have a really great day. Thanks for playing. It was fun. <laughs>